Hi guys, we're here today with this vacuum sealer. It's a store of this product by Hinkleman. I have a bag of hops here. It's just hops flour. I'm gonna put it right on the, uh, the sealing unit right here and get that no nozzle inside the bag. That's gonna be for a nitrogen flush. So I put the put it down and it will start. The vacuum percent is set at 99. The maximum this unit can do is 99.8% vacuum. This last few percentage take a lot longer than the first few. So the reason I set to 99 is to bypass some of that extra 20 seconds of waiting time. You'll see after the vacuum percent hits 99, it'll go into its next step, which will be a nitrogen flush. The nitrogen injection will be the 20%. And this is because it's going to not destroy the material when the vacuum bag compacts in the end. It's now sealing the unit. And you can see at the top, it's going to let all the air back in. And now, this bag has 20% nitrogen inside of it. This gives a little bit of play, and it's not as compacted as a fully sealed vacuum pack. I'll show you a couple other examples. This one right here, this has zero nitrogen influx, and it's basically a brick. This one right here is 20%, as we just did. A little bit softer, still compact, same amount of material. This third one, same amount of material again, 50% nitrogen influx, and it's a lot softer, and you can even see inside how the material moves around like that. So the percentage is up to the user, it's fully adjustable. So I'll change the controller up real quick. A few things I want to highlight are the percentage of vacuum. It can be changed from 1% to 99.8. Next thing is the gas flush and the seal. So the seal, I'm going to set it to the lowest amount possible because there is no seal time on a mason jar for our purposes, which is 0.3. The gas flush is turned off, and as you can see, it can be adjusted using this screen. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'll place the mason jar inside the middle. Just leave the cap right on top. I'm going to close the unit, and it'll start right by itself. And it's going to pull back in to 99% once again. It's going to make it seal on nothing because there are no bags inside. We're just going to let it go. Let the air back in. The lid opens up. And as you can see, this lid on here is really pressed on by just pressure of the atmosphere. And then put the screw lid on just for storage purposes. And this will improve the shelf life rather than using an empty mason jar just full of normal air. Take it off. Use your fingers. Pull it right off. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.